little girl is so scheming, in order to be adopted by the wealthy lady. During the performance, she deliberately tripped her friend with her foot, but to her surprise, the kind-hearted lady stepped forward and helped the fallen girl up, expressing concern for her well-being. This made the girl, Nancy, very angry. After the performance, the wealthy lady went backstage and saw the girl, Alice, who had just fallen. As she approached Alice, she suddenly noticed that the clothes Alice was wearing were the ones she bought for Nancy. So she questioned Alice about where those clothes came from. Alice told her that Nancy had lent them to her to wear. At the same time, Nancy also walked in. The wealthy lady looked at the adorable Nancy, gently stroking her head, and asked if she had lent her clothes to a friend. Nancy, however, had an incredulous expression on her face, clearly stating that it was Alice who had been pestering her, wanting to wear a princess dress to shine on the stage. The wealthy lady didn't expect Alice to be so calculating, instantly losing any favorable impression. Just then, Nancy with a sarcastic tone said, it seems like someone deliberately fell to attract attention earlier. This made the wealthy lady even more angry. Little did she know, the truly scheming one, was the girl bursting with performance desires right in front of her? Nancy, who had gained the trust of the wealthy lady, excitedly ran out to play, only to unexpectedly see Rick, the son of the tycoon family. She immediately went up to greet Rick, but he showed no interest in her, and even asked her to deliver a chick and a letter to Alice. This differential treatment made Nancy feel uneasy. She asked Rick why he wanted to give it to Alice, but Rick impatiently replied, it's none of your business, I just want to give it. This infuriated Nancy. She secretly opened the letter Rick wrote to Alice, only to discover that Rick considered Alice as a soulmate. This made Nancy even more displeased. Why would the child of the tycoon family be friends with Alice? Furious, she tore up the letter and turned away, leaving. At night, Nancy was called out by the orphanage director. Excitedly, she asked the director if there was a wealthy person coming to adopt her. But the director told Nancy that she was meant to stay with the director forever. It turned out that seven years ago, the wealthy person, France, had sent her daughter Alice to the orphanage, and along with Alice came the director's daughter, Nancy. However, for some unknown reason, their clothes were switched. The director had always believed that Alice was her own daughter, and Nancy was the wealthy person's daughter. It was only a few days ago that the wealthy person decided to bring their daughter home to confirm Nancy's relationship with the wealthy person. The director went to the hospital for a paternity test, only to discover that Nancy was her own daughter. But Nancy, upon learning this truth, was not happy. She preferred being adopted by the wealthy person, rather than staying with her poor and insignificant father. The director, upon hearing that the director intended to keep her by her side, Nancy, full of anger, ran out of the door and wrapped the door with wire, preventing the director from telling the truth to the wealthy person. After rushing back, Nancy suddenly remembered that the director still had her paternity test report in hand. She hurriedly made her way back to the orphanage building, but just as she stepped inside again, an unexpected incident occurred. With a loud noise, the orphanage collapsed in an instant. The injured director rescued Alice and then found Nancy amidst the rubble. He handed the paternity test to Nancy, telling her to let Alice know that he was not Alice's father. At that moment, another wall nearby collapsed. In a critical moment, the director pushed Nancy away, and as she watched the director being buried under the cement wall, Nancy was frightened and fainted. The next day, Nancy woke up in the hospital, and the first person she saw was the wealthy father who wanted to adopt her. In order to stay in the wealthy France family, she secretly tore off the names on the paternity test report and handed the test results to France. Upon seeing the test report, France became even more certain that she was his daughter, and he vowed to make up for the shortcomings he had towards her.